Hyman in the camouflage shorts, guards in the silver and black. We are ready for our third bout in this elimination tournament. Getting guards out of Tulsa, as is Wyman. Garza, the ultimate fighter, and uh, Wyman likes the submission fighting. So this uh, looks to be a very, very interesting matchup, Pat Harker. Sure does. And here we go, round one underway. Wyman's going to have a lot of experience training at Lions Gym under the tutelage of uh, Mikey Burnett, the East Side assassin. So we should get, see some good technique. And Wyman. Clamping down on the head, pulling down on the neck right away. Garza's doing a good job of defending here, Steve. It actually looks like Wyman's got a guillotine on it, but he can't just get the finish hold on it using his heels there. You'll see that a lot when you see some of the guys that are even more experienced at this. Looks like he's sunk in the uh, he's sunk in the guillotine. If he can just get a little more leverage back, he'd be good. And Wyman, while he's uh, out there fighting, talking to guys in his corner. It's. It's usually just a chess match. Usually it's just one person that does it, but a lot of times your corner may see something that you don't. A left and a right by Wyman. And Garza tries to hold on, and Wyman answers with some knees to the midsection. Looks like he's just trying to survive at this point, Steve. Right now, Garza grabs hold of Wyman and takes him to the mat. Good job by Garza. He's got him in the top now. Wyman's going to try and work out from that bottom position. Doing a good job of it so far. I know a lot of folks work, watching out there, they may not be as experienced in this, but being on the bottom isn't necessarily a bad thing. Looks like Garz is trying to get an ankle lock here. Now they're trading ankle locks at this point. Garza, who, as you mentioned, seems to be just wanting to hold on, has changed his fortune as he has really gone after Lyman here in the last 30 seconds. Not doing a bad job now, Steve. Now he's got the initial jitters out of the way. We might see. Wyman's got a good ankle lock there. Don't know if Garza will be able to answer back from that. If Garza can last 10 seconds, he'll last a round. As Wyman really locking in the ankle lock. And Garza survives the round. Coming to Tulsa, November 13th. Extreme kickboxing, heavyweight gladiator. November 13th, live in Tulsa, Heavyweight Gladiator, 24 Gladiators, one night, featuring knockout artist Toby TNT Tillman, Ultimate Fighter Matt Wyman, Street Fighter Horace Wrecking Ball Spencer, and rising star Thomas Thunder Kick Longacre. Extreme Kickboxing, brought to you by Smitty's on Brookside and the King of Beers, Budweiser. Heavyweight Gladiators, live in Tulsa at the Greenwood Center, November 13th. Tickets on sale now at all Apollo's Karate locations. Get your tickets today. Same thing. Round two, we're scheduled for three, the elimination tournament. And Wyman comes out punching, and Garza with a big right knee to the midsection. And now Wyman and Garza to the mat. That was a nice knee strike by Garza, but didn't seem like it really affected Wyman that much. Men locked in. Garza at this point, as you can see, he's got his arm back behind the other arm of Wyman, so he really can't sink that guillotine in like he's going to try. You'll see him try and force it there, trying to right. force that arm underneath. Get the knee in, get the they knee are in. under the ropes right here in front of us. Joe, you got to get the guard. When they get any closer, Pat Harker, you spring into action. <laughs> I'll do that, Steve. Wyman doing a good job trying to beat that, uh, that single guard that Garza had on him. Looks like he's doing it at this point. You see from our vantage point, Wyman had a possibility of getting a shoulder lock there, but goes for a punch and gets wound up in the ropes. They are amongst the ropes, and they have been there for about a minute now. Looks like Wyman was going for a Japanese arm bar, but now he switched to that, uh, that ankle lock. Garza answering with punches, though. That's a 
There's a, oh, a nice right hand to the ribs by Garza. He should stay on that and keep curling up like he's doing to try and fight out of that ankle lock. Both men trying to reposition themselves. Garza's corner yelling at him to stand up, too. There's a left hand that Garza connects to the nose of Wyman, and now referee Kevin Nix will break the fighters up and get them back on their feet. That was a good call. Oh! Wyman going for the high risk knee and is thrown to the mat. That was high flying action, Pat Harker. I mean, Wyman went for broke and got caught in midair, and Garza slams him to the mat as the round ended. It's a tournament to go three rounds. I'm amazed at that. Well, here we go. When Wyman comes in low and gets the leg of Beautiful Garza. single leg takedown by Wyman there. A lot of our wrestlers recognize that. A good old single leg takedown. And no Wyman and Garza both on the mat. Both each has the other's ankle and uh, action kind of stops momentarily and Kevin Nix will bring both fighters back to their feet. Oh, a left by Wyman, answered by a right by Garza. Wyman misses with the right, and Garza connects a glancing blow off the top of Wyman's head. And there's a right knee to the midsection by Garza. And Wyman gets Garza to the mat. Nice leg trip used by Wyman to get that leg down. I'm amazed to see those guys standing up and actually boxing, though. Both these guys are experienced submission fighters. And Garza scoring points with a couple of uh, short rights to the face of Wyman. Unfortunately, though, Wyman had started to get his uh, arm, get Garza's arm in a Japanese arm bar. I don't know if he can hang on and get it straightened out like he needs to to put the, the leverage on it. Realize, Steve, if we go three rounds and it's a draw, they go a fourth round. So we'll see that in the tournament as well. I'm amazed. Like I said, we've seen this one go so far. Garza getting a couple of shots in. They're not hurting Wyman, but they do score points. 30 seconds left. For a while there, seconds. Wyman had uh, Garza's arm trapped, but can't seem to get it now. And Garza with about three punches to the face of Wyman. And Wyman has been unable to mount any threat here in the last 30 seconds. And this round is quickly coming to an end. And what's going to happen, Steve, is later on, whichever fighter moves on in the next next round of their tournament, they've had to go three full rounds, so they're going to be a little more tired. Let's go to the ring and find out who has won this fight with Pat Harker. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for our winner. Moving on in the tournament, a split decision win for Matt Wyman. Matt Wyman with a split decision win moves Let's on. Let's hear it for Joseph Garza, though, going the distance.